speaker, I want to appreciate the Senate for this very innovative uh, idea of taking the Senate to the grassroots. I think Senate is one of the houses which is not well understood by the people in the grassroots. Because you know, Mr. Speaker, uh, uh, representation is very key, but uh, most people on the ground um, relate representation with uh, development. And given that Senate, we do not have a fund, uh, many people think that uh, National Assembly works more than us. But this uh, idea of taking our sessions to the counties or to the regions will help in uh, engaging the public and making them understand the role of Senate uh, in devolution process and also in legislative uh, processes in this country. So this is a very, very important idea. And Mr. Speaker, maybe as we plan for this event, this particular session, I think we need to expand it to include committees so that committees also engage uh, in the regions. Uh, when we are in, in uh, Turkana, we should not, not just do the, the plenary. Uh, some of our committees can hold their sittings in, in that county. And one of the, uh, some of the committees that uh, would do uh, a good job in engaging in the grassroots are basically accountability committees. That is the uh, CPAC and CPI. So that the people will get uh, involved with the Senate on matters of accountability, on matters of usage of resources uh, in the grassroots. So as we uh, improve on this concept, we need also to think about how we can also devolve our committee sittings, not just visit to the grassroots. So this is a very important thing. My, Mr. Speaker, um, Turukana is a very, very unique county because Turukana has mineral resources like oil. Turukana has a, a huge energy opportunities. For example, Mr. Speaker, uh, we are talking about solar energy. We are talking about uh, hydro energy like Tuckwell uh, uh, plant where energy can uh, be produced to uh, ensure that this country is, uh, is adequate in energy provision. Mr. Speaker, um, uh, several members have talked about water. Water is very important. But a study done in 2013 by UNESCO found out that there is huge, huge water reserves in Turukana. Mr. Speaker, it is very ironical that this week, uh, actually last week, my committee of public investment and special funds, we had a lot of issues with the Turukana county government in terms of management of water resources. The company that manages water in that county, uh, Lodwa Water and Sewerage Company, this company is a company that is dead. This company is a company that uh, does not understand what accountability is. You can imagine a company, a public company, where private individuals are shareholders. This is a matter that uh, uh, it's being handled by my committee, and that tells you how uh, governance is, a, uh, is still an important issue in this country, that you are sitting on water reserves, but you cannot exploit those water opportunities because of mismanagement. So when we get an opportunity to go to uh, Turkana, these are some of the things that uh, uh, Senate will get to engage the public on. Uh, Turukana is also one of the counties that receive the uh, highest shareable revenue. But uh, Mr. Speaker, there is very little to show for, for it on the ground, largely because of uh, uh, issues of corruption, 
uh, issues of misuse of uh, funds. And I think it is an opportunity for us to understand the real situation on the ground uh, as far as the utilization of uh, the funds that uh, we appropriate to these counties is concerned. Turukana is also a, a, a very strategic county in terms of regional integration. You know Turukana borders Uganda, and you've seen recently the president of Uganda having an issue with the uh, cross-border issue with the people from Turukana. Ethiopia also, we have uh, uh, a lot of uh, regional issues uh, with Ethiopia and also Southern Sudan. So it will be very important for committees which are uh, uh, involved in matters of regional integration, in matters of cohesion, will have to uh, get an opportunity to understand these uh, issues when they engage um, the public. Um, Mr. Speaker, the Senate also will have to demonstrate to the people about its role in this country in terms of oversight, in terms of uh, resource allocation, and in terms of uh, its space in the constitution of this country. So this is uh, an exciting moment. This is a moment to uh, rebrand Senate, and this is a moment to really understand issues affecting our people in uh, unique counties like Turukana, counties which are vast in terms of uh, land size, counties which also have huge natural resources which are not being exploited, and counties which also ha uh, have huge historical um, uh, values. Uh, as you know, they say uh, uh, a lot about uh, ancient civilization. Uh, pa uh, some aspects of Russian civilization started in Turkana, they say. So this is a good choice, and I want to commend the House Business Committee for uh, deciding that the next place we need to go to is Turkana. And I think uh, when we make such sound decisions as a house, this is one of the things that make us uh, uh, appear unique and appear uh, more serious. There is also the issue of equalization fund, Mr. Speaker. It is also an opportunity for us to engage the public on uh, the uh, place of equalization fund in this country and how it should be, how well it should be managed and how well it should be utilized because equalization fund was meant for those regions which are uh, economically behind to catch up with the uh, the rest of the country. So, Mr. Speaker, I, I, I also think that that engagement with the, uh, the county of Turkana is also going to improve the capacities of uh, county assembly in Turkana, for them to understand how legislative processes run and also to understand the best practices in parliamentary uh, practices and their role as a uh, uh, people who play uh, primary oversight in the counties. So, Mr. Speaker, I want to support the idea of uh, uh, Senate going machinani, uh, and, I, and I think we need to have a clear program on this uh, for adequate preparation. So, we can say, for example, Mr. Speaker, that uh, for every uh, uh, session, uh, maybe you can have one uh, one uh, uh, sit, uh, one um, week where we are sitting outside uh, in Nairobi and we know the counties in advance so that uh, early preparations can be made and we can have more meaningful engagement when we go uh, to those regions. Mr. Speaker, uh, for those uh, many remarks, I support the motion. Thank you, Thank Senator. You. Uh, Honorable members, uh, time uh, for debate on this particular motion has 